query stream parameters are similar to path parameters in that they change the URL of the API request you're making. However, uh, they're not always required the way that path parameters are. You can think of query stream parameters more as options that you are adding to your API request. They tend to be seen more often for get requests where you're retrieving a bunch of data just to specify how you want that data returned to you or to maybe filters. That's another way of thinking about them is they could potentially be filters for the data you're getting back from the, from the API request. So that's why they tend to be more typical for get requests. They are sometimes required, but oftentimes they're optional. So let's take a look at list contacts as an example. This API endpoint returns all the contacts for a front company. We have a few query parameters here that uh, you can use. Uh, one good example is this limit. So the limit determines like the maximum results that you will get back when you, when you query this endpoint. So if you got a lot of contacts, maybe you only want to get 25 contacts back at a time. So that will be uh, what you specify here in the limit. You can also specify how, how you might sort your contacts uh, based on uh, ascending or descending order uh, based on when they were created, for example. So that could be an option that you specify so that there's some sort of order that comes back to the data that you're seeing. And uh, the syntax for how you specify these is you add a question mark to, to the end of the URL, and then you specify the query parameter name, an equal sign, and then the value you want for that query parameter. And if you're going to include multiple query parameters, you separate them uh, with an ampersand. So let's see if we can, uh, if you pay attention to this URL here in our, in our request preview, if I was to add like 25 here for the limit, you will see that it added a question mark, limit equals 25. And uh, if we were to add a, a different, uh, another query parameter, let's try a created at query parameter, you would see that this is how it's specified in the URL. So you start off with that question mark at the end of the URL that's provided to you. You've got the limit uh, query string parameter that we already had, and then there's that ampersand to separate the other query string parameter. So here's the name of it, sort by, and we set it to created at. Uh, if we specified a descending order, you'd see that attached with another ampersand, sort order equals descending. So that's how you would construct the URL if you were using query string parameters. And if you see API endpoints that do not list query parameters, like this one, for example, it means that they're not available to you, so you don't need to worry about them.